Hey kids, remember these safety squad rules when wearing a mask and washing your hands. Find a mask that fits properly. It should cover your mouth, nose, and fit snug behind the ears. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds or sing happy birthday. Keep hand sanitizer in your backpack if you can't get to a washing station. Remember these safety squad rules and you'll be a member of the Trooper Bob Safety Squad. It's important to keep your hands away from your face and mouth, but it's also important to keep them clean before meals or any snacks. You want to make sure you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. So we'll grab some soap, we'll get the water going, you want to wash the entire hand, both hands, top and bottom, in between your fingers for at least 20 seconds or for the length of the birthday song. Happy birthday, Trooper Bob. Happy birthday to you. Hey kids, remember these safety squad rules when social distancing. Don't crowd doorways when entering or exiting. In the lunchroom and hallways, try to maintain three big steps between you and the next person. Make sure you understand your school's plan on safe social distancing. If you have any questions, ask a teacher for help. We always want to make sure we're practicing safe social distancing. And that means being six foot away from the next person. And that's about three giant steps. So let's count them. One two, three, and there's our six feet. We also wanna make sure when we're going down the hallway, we're six foot away from that person, and don't crowd the doorways. Don't get all bunched up in the door. You wanna make sure you take turns. Let one person go at a time, whether you're entering or leaving a room. We wanna make sure we're doing our part by staying safe, and that's practicing safe social distancing throughout the entire school day. Hey kids, walking to school is a healthy way to start your day. So follow these safety squad tips so you stay safe. Plan a route with a grown up and go the same way every day. Use the buddy system and don't walk alone. Always walk, don't run, and watch for cars. Never take rides from someone you don't know. Remember, stranger danger. Plan the route with a grown up and use the same route every day. Try to use the buddy system if you have a friend walking to school with you. Walk on the sidewalk if you can. If there is no sidewalk, use the shoulder of the roadway facing traffic, but not in the roadway. Never talk to a stranger and don't approach a car that you don't know. Remember, stranger danger. Hey kids, every morning while you wait for your bus, follow the safety squad rules to make sure your bus stop is safe. While you wait for the bus, make sure you're at least six big steps back from the road. When the bus comes, wait until it makes a complete stop before you get on. Never walk behind the bus. Always stay where you can see the bus driver. Stay six giant steps back from the roadway. And when the bus approaches, make sure it comes to a complete stop before you walk towards the bus. Never go behind the bus. The bus driver can't see you, so it's always important to have a clear visual sight of that bus driver at all times. If you happen to drop something like a book, a book bag or pencil under the bus, don't go get it. Let the bus driver know that you dropped something and he or she will help you get that item back. It's important to wear a mask, but it's even more important that you wear it the entire length of the bus trip. Hey kids, morning traffic can be dangerous if you're crossing the street. Follow these safety squad rules to make sure you stay safe. Always use a crosswalk when there is one. Wait for the signal to indicate you can cross safely and listen to the crossing guard. Don't stand too close to the road while you wait. Take two big steps back from traffic. Look both directions as you move to the other side of the road. If there's a school crossing guard, they'll make sure all traffic is stopped before they wave you across, so pay close attention. If there's a sign or symbol indicating it's safe to go, make sure you look both ways before you cross and then cross. If you're on a bicycle, it's a good idea to walk it across because with everyone around you, you could fall off. Follow these simple safety squad rules and you'll be a member of the Trooper Bob Safety Squad. In partnership with Charleston County School District.